If a cancer diagnosis has been confirmed, a critical role in head and neck cancer patient care is devising an individual treatment protocol that will yield the best outcome for the patient. Really, it's teamwork that's involved in the care of all patients with cancer, but especially a patient with a head and neck cancer diagnosis. We have an outstanding cancer treatment team, a truly multidisciplinary care team involving both physicians as well as allied healthcare professionals to provide really orchestrated and coordinated care for, for cancer patients. Dr. Misak Hygans is Medical Director of Atlantic Hematology and Oncology at Morristown Medical Center. I'm indeed the quarterback. I'm indeed directing the care for a particular patient. The treatment that I bring to the cancer treatment is cancer medicines, and I work alongside with surgeons and radiation oncologists. And so patients may need sometimes a combination of these treatments, a complex combination. Chemotherapy has historically been used in the treatment of cancer. Chemotherapy attacks rapidly dividing cells like cancer cells, but also may affect other normal cells in the body, and that's what results in its side effects. As opposed to attacking the cancer cells like chemotherapy, the targeted therapies are focused on the master switches of cancer cells. And uh, by identifying those switches, we're able, much like the way you could turn off a light, you're able to shut down the cancer cell that results in a programmed cell death of, of cancer. There's been an explosion in cancer treatment, uh, a true breakthrough, and that's in the field of cancer immunotherapy. The immune system's main cancer fighters are called T-cells. T-cells have receptors on their surface that do different things. Some act like a gas pedal on a car telling T-cells to go. Others act like a break, telling the cell to stop. Drugs, called checkpoint inhibitors, release the brakes, allowing the immune system to step on the gas and fight the cancer. Many cancers have learned to hijack these same immune brakes to avoid destruction. They make a molecule that engages the brakes. Checkpoint inhibitors block this interaction as well, robbing cancer of an important defense. Several checkpoint inhibitors are currently FDA approved for the treatment of head and neck cancer. Depending on the patient's individual disease state, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or immunotherapy may be used in treatment. Clinical trials can also play a critical role in a patient's treatment protocol. These trials are research studies that explore whether a specific drug treatment or medical device is safe and effective for humans. According to the National Cancer Institute, less than 5% of patients with cancer uh, participate in clinical research studies. I'm a, a strong advocate for clinical research. We're building a very thorough and extensive portfolio of trials for head and neck cancer patients at the Morristown Medical Center. The time and the effort uh, is well worthwhile because the patients may get access to medications that may alter the course of their disease. The physicians and the patients have the opportunity of being a part of the development of the next generation of cancer breakthroughs. For more information about clinical trials and to find current studies being conducted in cities around the world, visit clinicaltrials.gov. Patients want to get the right treatment for their disease, but they want to feel like they're not being treated as an experimental subject, but rather as a patient. And they have to have knowledge, they need to be guided by physicians. So it's really complex, but I think having a strong trials portfolio available for patients is really the key.